Welcome to Insight, produced in partnership with Howard University's WHUT. Today we are chatting with Sharon Toomer, Executive Director of the National Association of Black Journalists. Sharon has generously agreed to share some of her experience with us. I'd like to thank you, Sharon, for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Talk about the genesis of the Association of Black Journalists. Why was the organization founded uh, all the way back in, I believe it was 1975? 1975, right here in Washington, D.C. 44 uh, journalists in the area, black journalists, uh, formed this organization that uh, oddly, uh, you know, they started for the same purpose that we see we still need 40 plus years later. So well, you form an organization, but how do you have impact? Once you form this organization, how do you actually start to change behaviors and communicate issues to people who might be unconscious that there ever was an issue? Well, there are a number of ways. One, um, we have some successful partnerships with news organizations, uh, with the philanthropic sector, who believe in our mission, believe that it's necessary. And so in these partnerships, there is um, an exchange of ideas, an exchange of uh, how to do things better. And we also do our part by preparing our journalists, our membership, through professional development, through training. Um, our convention and career fair happens every year. It is the largest journalism um, uh, convention or gathering and uh, the career fair, you know, people think about a career fair as, oh, okay, we'll just toss out some resumes and see what comes back. These, our partners, these news organizations actually hire from there. So the networking opportunity is, is um, one component of how we bring a diverse, inclusive perspective in newsrooms. And then you also provide training. So what kind of career training do you so provide? So throughout the year, so we have the convention and career fair. That's one of our lar that is our largest program. Mm -hmm. Throughout the year though, we have media institutes. Uh, we have regional conferences. So we're a, a nationwide network. We're based here, but we have uh, chapters and we have regional uh, conferences that gain, that gather people or gather our members for professional development and we work with our partners to do that. And in terms of, of the scholarships, you also provide scholarships and internships uh, to mm -hmm. college absolutely. students. Absolutely, absolutely. So talk a little bit about that program. So we have a scholarship program, uh, several of them, and oftentimes, let's say the fellowship uh, is a political reporting fellowship or a uh, environmental, um, it depends on the source of it also, you know, to help with school, uh, school's expensive. And so how can we help our membership get through, a, you know, their, their education uh, by lessening the burden? Sometimes those scholarships do just that. In terms of the media landscape, the media landscape has changed significantly. There's been sure increasing uh, consolidation advertising dollars have disappeared, and with that, many publications, um, many uh, radio stations are consolidating. You see the consolidation of television. Mm -hmm. um, how has that shift affected your work? Well, we have to adjust uh, to this new arena, and it's not just TV, there's a digital space. Um, we have to prepare our membership for this world. This is where journalism is going. It t you know, I mean, I don't know how else the, the alarm can be sounded. Yes, there will always be broadcasts, whether it's radio, television. Uh, a lot of print publications are not disbanding their print, but they are Moving further on. over to digital space. And how can our membership uh, be prepared to work in those environments. So that digital technology, in fact, our um, convention this year is, the theme of it is driving journalism, technology, and trust. So technology is where journalism is going and has been going for quite some time. So we have to be prepared. Our membership has to be prepared for that. Do you think that black journalists have a different um, different story priorities and different a different editorial eye <coughs> than than other journalists do? 
Um, one, I am a journalist. That's where my uh, heart is. But I've been in the in nonprofit, and I've, I've had a foot in many worlds. And this is what I'll say about uh, my view of, of journalists and black journalists. One, you're called to the profession uh, because it's it's not so, you know you're not going to very few of us. Uh, make big bucks in this. So this is a calling, like education is a calling, right? Uh, we go in there wanting to tell the story, wanting to, to tell the history of, of the world in a different medium, right? And of course, we have an added value to wherever we show up with a lens that most don't have. And so to me, it just, uh, if, I were in a newsroom or leading a newsroom, and I had the benefit of so much uh, value coming to this organization. I would do a lot to make sure, one, we keep them, and two, um, that we assign them to stories that are not just uh, focused on a, a narrow lens, but you know, we can we view the we can view the environment differently. We can view we can view um, or bring a perspective about the environment foreign affairs, uh, uh, politics, that our counterparts just may not see. Why is it important that I, that I understand and be exposed to your perspective? I always answer that question with, why wouldn't you want to be? You know, but um, no, let's, so, but let's that, I'm going to start there, I'll the start there, but then let's let Because I, I mean, okay. of course I agree, of course with, you agree. I agree I with you. But that's really the first thing. Is why wouldn't anybody want to know a, a diverse perspective? But um, I don't need, you know, this is not, I'm not coining this, but obviously you walk out any door in the United, in the United States and you will see a very different um, landscape. Uh, and one majority group can't possibly capture all the dynamics of that. And that's the, um, the editorial side. The business side, it just makes sense. You know, who's watching you, meaning who's turning on your station um, to, to watch your reporting or to read your, your, your digital platform. Um, so the more diverse and inclusive, because there's there's a jump sometimes. You know, you can bring in the diversity, but if you're not including them, then it's you know what's the point, right? So one doesn't happen without the other. Well, maybe also your perspective will illuminate my own. Right? We all get a little hidebound in our thinking, and to get knocked off of that pedestal, we have to get out of our heads, and we have to see ourselves and our and the world from a different perspective. I concur. And, 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 and maybe the, the, the real value here is that by getting outside of our heads, we can actually become innovative. We can become more entrepreneurial. We can, we can see things that we hadn't seen. We can, we can be exposed to joys that we hadn't been exposed to before mm -hmm. just, just by having that interaction. I think that the, 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 that the real um, question is if there are systemic issues yeah. with, with ensuring that different perspectives are covered, what do we do about it? And that's really <coughs> the, the, uh, the purpose of the National Association of Black Journalists. When a group of journalists saw an issue, mm -hmm. saw, saw an issue that prevented the exposure of us all to a different perspective, right. you just sort of get together and you start to, become, to advocate for, for those barriers to come down. It takes, um, and we have good relationships um, where there's a openness. So we did we we miss the mark, meaning you know our a news organization might miss the mark on something. Uh, those who have a relationship with or a partnership with NABJ and actually tap into the way you know, to to sources within the organization. Mm -hmm who can actually lead them to that ideal, right? Realizing the ideal in terms of diversity and inclusion. I think it's sometimes there's a, um, a tendency to think, you know, that we can do it all. We can, we can work this out ourselves. When you have a bank of resources and people and expertise who can actually help you along that path of truly reaching 
a diverse and inclusive and equitable environment. In the next decade, mm -hmm. how do you see the future developing for black journalists? Very good question. Um, I would like to see black journalists at the forefront of every possible, uh, covering every possible aspect of a democracy. You know, I keep pointing to the economics, the politics, the social, the cultural, um, the environmental, all of this which keeps this democracy up. I would like to see us more represented, and I would like to see black journalists uh, far more prepared to meet the demands of this new environment, this just new journalism landscape. And it changes. I mean, it's always evolving. So, you know, we're talking about the digital space. We don't know what's going to cut, you know, what, what in the digital space is going to change in the next six months. We just don't know. So we need our membership prepared for those positions. And that partnership with organizations like Howard University and Absolutely. other schools that provide education in journalism. Yes and organizations that can provide internships to young people and initial starting jobs and that training. That's right. All of that is part of, of, of that picture. And it's not only um, the journalism landscape, it's also the media landscape. And so you have media outlets um, like Facebook, like Twitter, uh, uh, Apple, Google. Those are media companies and our journalists can also be prepared for position and for for um, positions in those environments. Mm -hmm. So, so the idea of becoming a curator over content and and that that's extending the 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 definition of of what journalism it means sure did, yeah. for the National Association of Black Journalists. Yes. Sharon Toomer, thank you so much for sharing the work of the National Association of Black Journalists, and thank you so much for your insights. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.